After you have your car block drawn, you need to put the axle holes on your drawing. Now, axle holes have a few specifications that need to be addressed, such as how far off the bottom they are, and they should be fairly far apart. I'm going to be drawing axle holes for um, this car. So this is the car that I'm going to draw axle holes for, and I have them marked with the plus signs. So to start, I'm going to create a 2D sketch on the side of my block. I'm going to start with the point tool. So I'm going to use a point, and I'm just going to locate two points on the side of my car. Then to move those points, I'm going to come up here and use the dimension tool. So I'm going to dimension my points, click on the point and the bottom of the car, pull out a dimension, and that dimension needs to be 3 eighths of an inch or less. It could be uh, a quarter of an inch or so. Um, anywhere from 3 eighths to 0 is fine. I'm going to make this one also 3 eighths to which happens to be 0.375. After that, you need to locate your axle holes from the back of the car. So I'm going to click on the axle, or the point rather, and the back of the car and um, create a dimension. Now looking at my drawing, uh, this dimension can be variable. It's not going to be the same for everybody. In rare cases, it will be the same. Um, I'm going to make mine two and a half inches. Yours can be whatever dimension you need it to be. And then I'm also going to make this one, um, I'll change that one to 1.5. Again, um, those dimensions, the 1.5 and the 2.5, are just kind of numbers that I have picked out. I picked it even numbers, nothing too crazy. After that, I'm going to go up to Finish Sketch. I'm going to use the Hole tool. So I'm going to click Hole, and then I'm going to click From Centers, make sure that both my center points are selected. I'm going to change the diameter of my hole to 11 64ths. And then the termination is going to be through all. So make sure it says through all here. Click OK. And now I have my axle holes made in my car.